Hi, T Boo. Mwah. So, you remember that time we were gonna do one or two videos a week? Yeah, that's going real well. I thought it was about time that I made a video because today is Tuesday, November 23rd, which means it's been like 20 days since you made your video. I just haven't really been in the video making mood. Your first question was, how's NaNoWriMo? And under, if I understand correctly, you have since dropped out of NaNoWriMo, so I won't be getting an update from you, which does make me kind of sad, but I understand, like, it gets busy and whatnot, but I wrote down my count here on my cell phone so that I could be sure. My NaNoWriMo count, I'm currently at 32,022, and I should be at 38,344. So I'm like 6,000 words behind, but I'm okay with that. Your other question was, who would I be in the final battle? A funny story. <laughs> so when we first started the final battle and Lena and I were first working on everything, I was going to be in it. Like that was what I wanted to do. I was like, I'm going to direct this thing, but I'd also like a really small part. And I really, 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 really wanted to be Molly Weasley. And we went that way for a really, really long time until Scott and Kirsten said that they wanted to be in it. And then we were like, well, they should be Molly and Arthur Weasley. But then they didn't want to be in it and it ended up being Christy, who was Molly Weasley. And she did a really great job. And, like, I think that she's fantastic for the part. But the answer is, I would love to be Molly Weasley. And I would still love to be Molly Weasley because I think that she's an awesome character. And because I love... I love the idea of having a small part and being able to be in all the chorus scenes because that's the part that I really love. So that's the answer to your questions. I would like to know if you are doing NaNoWriMo, how are you doing it? But I'm going to move on to the next part of this video, and the next part of this video is a little sadder. So, Tibu, this is Curious, and he's my kitty, and I got him for my fifth birthday, which means that he's 17, and he's not doing so well. I mean, as you can tell, like, he's laying on a towel, and he's not moving much. Hey, baby. Um, and that makes me kind of sad, obviously, because, I mean, he's been here since I was five. He's a huge part of my life. He's almost as old as my brother. Um, but he's also 17, and that's really old for a cat, and I've kind of accepted that he was going to go. Um, and it makes me happy that he's kind of sort of made the decision while I'm here at home rather than while I'm away at school. And I told him the other day that he's got two choices. He's either dead by Sunday or he's got to wait another three weeks because I'm not letting this happen while I'm at school. So I'm hoping he'll, he'll make his decision one way or the other. He's really, he's really starting to wear down. And that's really sad. But he's a beautiful cat. And I'm sure that somewhere I've got ridiculous footage of him. Um, or pictures or something. So for the next video I will dig some up and you can see what he used to be like. But for now we'll just leave him. That doesn't mean that I'm gonna be lonely here at home although I'm gonna miss him because he's been my friend, best friend since I was five. But we do have these guys. These are my outdoor cats. This is Lily. And over here, we have the gray ones, this one's Chewy, and this is Boots. Boots has got white on his face, which you can't really see. And this black and white one over here is Hatter, and the white one here is Daisy. So those are my kitties, and they're going to still be around, and they've been around for a while, and we have... We have an ever-changing number of outdoor cats, but right now we just have five. Because Curious isn't doing so well, I spent my afternoon out here because it was kind of a nicer day today. And it's starting to become winter here, so it's starting to get really, really cold. But today, I was hairy and digging a grave for my Dobby. And so this is where we're going to bury him when he passes away, and hopefully I'll still be here. But... I dug that by myself, by hand, obviously. I didn't use any magic to dig that hole. I just used a shovel. And then we have a bunch of bricks around here. So I got one and I sort of sanded it smooth. And then that way I can write Curious's name on it when we bury him. So that's what I did with my day. And I know it's a little sad, 
but but it felt right. Like, it felt good to be digging the hole and to be the one who was going to, you know, prepare that place for him because he has been my best friend. And he's absolutely mine. Like, he belongs to me. I got him for my birthday. He's always been my cat. He's always loved me best. Like, he's always been my best friend. So I knew that I was the one who had to dig the hole for him. Um, and on that oh-so-cheery note... I guess what I'd like to know from you is I'd like to know more about your pets. I saw a few of them when I was there, but your cats are kind of skittish. But I know that they spend more time around you, so I'd love to know stories about them. Or you could just show them to me or show me pictures or whatever. Uh, I guess... I guess that's it. I mean, if we come up with themes or jokes or something, that would be great. And I will try my hardest to get, like, into the swing of making videos when you make videos so we can make things back and forth and it won't be this long of a wait. Uh, so I guess until next time, I love you.